I think we've all figured out that lock picking isn't the cheapest hobby you can get into. And there's a lot of people out there looking to get into it inexpensively. There's some good deals out there and there's some not so good deals out there. And we're going to talk about that in the next five very quick videos. Before we do that though, let's talk about who won the Southor Dimple Pick Set, the PXD15. We had about 1100, yeah, 1105 comments. And the computer randomly picked you, Greg. Greg O'Day, if you will PM your address to me, I'll get this dimple kit in the mail to you. And you say you don't like polishing, you're going to get plenty of practice with the PXD15. So I only polish one of them, the rest of them are on you. All right, this is one of the most popular kits. I get questions literally about this every day, asking about the Goso 24-piece kit. Um, there's a lot of different names. I bought this off of Amazon. Uh, it was $17, free shipping. You see it's, it does have 24 pieces. And then it says, uh, they called it Wingler. There's a lot of listings for this exact kit under different names. And I grabbed one by was advertised by Wingler. 24-piece lock set in a plastic bag. You won't be seeing that. Locksmithing quality picks for deadbolt and auto car locks. And indeed, you do get 24 pieces. Um... Let's take a look very quickly at one of the picks. Um, they are plastic handles. It's kind of odd because it looks kind of like a bread knife handle where you'd hold it like that to pick it. But first of all, we don't hold picks like that. Secondly, the logo, and if you look at the pick, this is a supposedly a half diamond. Uh, it actually needs to be held like that. So I just ignore this. It's not an uncomfortable way to hold it, I suppose. Um, it is rounded on the bottom, so it's a little bit ergonomic. It just I just can't understand why they shaped it like a bread knife. Uh, it, it works out to 74 cents a pick, and this, you know, that's kind of what you get. You get a lot of overflashing. It's very light. Uh, when you move up to the pick, these are very, well, I'll tell you, it's 28 thousandths thick. So if you're looking to pick any kind of high security locks, this will not be a good choice for you. It's simply too thick. Um, many of the picks have odd shapes, uh, and that's kind of what you see on this half diamond. This is nowhere near what a half diamond should look like. Um, they have this gold color on it, and it's all the way around it, and it's simply been dipped in something that gives it that color. Beneath it is a very soft metal, so soft in fact that these things bend. It's almost like tin, very, very soft. Uh, these will not last you very long at all. These are also punch picks. They're punched out of a sheet of metal. If you look at the top of it, it was lying like this, and then when the punch struck it, it rounded off the top. So the punch itself isn't very sharp because it just basically rips the metal. And then when you flip it to the other side, I hope you can make this out, but over here on this side, it is very, very sharp. There's a, literally a razor edge they made no effort to remove that edge. They just dipped it in that gold color stuff and called it good and molded it into these handles. All right, what do you get? Um, you get, well, this. what you see is what you get. You get a whole bunch of hooks. Uh, you get a total of five hooks. They're virtually identical. Only, I think, one of them has a slightly deeper... Uh, uh, deeper hook on it. The rest of them are almost all the same, but fairly typical. There's a lot of overflashing. You can get a razor and cut all that stuff off if you make the mistake of buying this kit. You get one of these that has a little notch on the tip for grabbing the pin, but you can see that is nasty. That also is very, very sharp. That glob of ripped metal on the end. They're just not very well done, and again, they're just so soft. They, I just can't imagine uh, using these. You get something I've never seen before, a half snowman for raking. Um, probably the only useful pick in this whole kit would be this one. This is a, for raking dimple locks. If you can find a keyway large enough to fit this in, I've used one of these before when I bought an earlier version of this kit. In fact, I threw the rest of the kit away. That's the only one I kept. In terms of car picks, these are quite oversized for fitting into any US car locks, but you know, we'll take a look at them. Again, same type of metal. You get this weird look, and if you want to cut wood, you know, go out and saw some logs, this thing is sharp enough to do it, some kind of rake. Um, and then you get a variety of other things. I'm not even sure these have names. Um, 
Some of them are quite similar, in fact many of them. For example, this one. It's the same pick, it's just one of them has solid tips and the other one's got it filed out on the other side. These are double rakes. Um, can't imagine these would fit at least in any of the cars parked in my driveway. And then on this side you just have a variety of different different rakes. Um, I don't think any of them are any better than any of the others. In terms of tension tools, you get something for shutter locks. It's spring loaded. This is a very strong spring steel. Oh, well, I don't know that it's spring steel, but very strong tension on it. You have to really squeeze it. And very wide on both ends. I can't imagine that once you squeeze this, put it into a keyway, they are so thick, they're going to use up most of the area that you need to work in. You get two Z wrenches. Again, they're identical. One's just slightly longer than the other. And then the other tool um, is this tension wrench. This is probably something I might keep. This one actually would work, but the other's not so much. So anyway, I know everyone wants to save money. I know you're looking to you know get into the sport uh, very inexpensively, but if you make the mistake of buying this Goso pick, which by the way I'm going to declare as junk, uh, it will not last you. The, the, the tin-like metal tips will bend and through metal fatigue they will break in a very short time and you'll be left with nothing but these plastic handles. I urge you, do not invest in these. Instead of spending $17 on this kit, I would really rather you spend that $17 and get two or three high quality picks so that you'll, get, you'll be able to learn from them. They'll last you a lot longer. Tools are what you don't want to cut corners on, guys. And this manufacturer go so cut a lot of corners every corner possible has been cut anyway thanks for your time stay safe um, I will not uh, raffle off this kit I don't want to burden anybody with it because it is a piece of junk instead I'm going to punish this kit and take it out of circulation permanently so stand by for how I do that in just a second